Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our Pokemon Rejuvenation Let's Play. This is part 66 of the Let's Play just to let possible players and viewers know. Uh, so yeah, before I get started, I want to apologize for the last three videos. I noticed the audio wasn't really the best. Um, again, there's just some scenes within the game that the music just overpowers what I'm saying and all that. I apologize. Um, I've turned up the gain on the mic a little bit more. I did a few test runs. It seems somewhat better, but I, again, I, I don't know what else I can really do about it. I don't want to turn the gain like all the way up and then have like background noise be all over the video, you know? So I'm trying to balance it out that there's not too much background noise, but at the same time, the music isn't super overpowering. And plus, I'm just not really a loud person as is. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try talking a little bit louder. There's gonna be times that I just get a little bit more quiet, but um Yeah, again, sorry again if that annoyed people. I'm sorry. I'm an old man when it comes to technology um, I may talk to a few friends that know a little bit about OBS and how that all works or I may just look up some tutorial I don't know but um, I kind of wanted to try figuring it out on my own and plus I already tried tutorials as is to be honest so yeah Anyways, let's get on with the story. Actually, lied about that. Before we get into the story, uh, if I didn't say already, I did three videos back to back to back. And I took some time to collect my thoughts about the whole Aaron situation with Madam X. And I want to give my speculations and thoughts on all of that before we get into the story. If you want to skip on ahead, that's fine. That's up to you. But I, I really want to say this real quick since I've had time to really gather my thoughts on all that. So... Starting from the beginning with the whole uh, memory thing and all that. The whole Vitus putting Alice, Alan, and Arena in the unknown dimension. That was pretty obvious. I, I think I got that. I think most of us probably got that. It, it made sense when it said, you know, or when Alice was like complaining about father and all that, you know, abandoning them and her wanting to live up to his expectations and all that. So like... Vitus fit the role perfectly on that, so that I get. I wasn't that surprised because, again, I just felt like it was just too obvious, and no one, nobody else really fit the bill besides Vitus. But after that, when Arena started saying literally the same lines and it put it in golden golden lettering too, the same line in the in, in the first prologue of the entire game. To what like Madame X told Marianne or Maria sorry or Marionette um, that that like shocked me for a moment because I remember in version 12 I forgot what episode it was but I don't know or I just said what if Aaron's Madame X I just said it just out of nowhere and I said I don't think I can believe that as much as my theory with Anatha and I, I'm still holding on to the Anatha theory I'm still gonna hold on to that um, but I just said out of nowhere that, you know, Aaron could be Madame X. There are some connections, but then again, that also fits into like, it could be Malia. It could be Alice. It could be Alan. It could be Melanie. I don't know. It could be, um, I don't know, Martin. Let's have another name with the letter M. I don't know. Um, but like at the same time, yes, they said the exact same lines, but at the same time, you, you got to keep in mind, Melanie did the same thing. Melanie literally said, Father, I have lost. Same thing that Madame X said during the Veltal battle. If you beat her, she just says, Father, I have lost. So there has to be some sort of connection between Madame X, Melanie, Malia, Aaron, and all that. Like, I don't know if it's like the archetypes influence that may have that connection. I, I don't know. Um, I want to read a comment as well real quick. Um. So yeah, hopefully they don't mind. Um, they said this probably explains why Madame X has dark hair and skin features. If she is Aaron, Millie, or Anatha, somebody used the drain machine on her. If you remember the book from the dive spot, it says the archetype is remove the golden features such as the such as the hair goes away. Or, I think he worded that weird, but I, I get what he's saying. Or she, whoever they are. Um, so pretty much like, yeah, like if you go through the process of what Malia went through, um, you can drain the archetype and then maybe that happened to Madame X and all that. But 
I, I responded back, and here's one of the big things that, like I said before, or wanted, wanted to say, um, is that Madame X in the past, if you remember correct, correctly, um, Madame X said there cannot be two versions in one timeline. So, for example, if there's two errands in this present time, the universe just automatically deletes one of them. So either Madame X or Aaron would have been gone. That's how it works. Same thing if it was Malia. If there was two Malias, one of them's gotta go. And to me, it looks like both of them are still here. Same with Alice, same with Alan, or possibly any other of, you know... I don't know, if there's two Melanies, I, I don't know. That kind of, you know, throws a curveball and all that. But then he brought on, you know, maybe the suit has something to do with it. But I'm kind of like, yeah, maybe. Nobody knows about the suit and all that. And as I said before, I feel like the suit is like a life support for her. But is it really strong enough to literally tell a universe, you're not deleting me? I don't know if I buy that. I don't know. It's just, it's so weird. But we can put a connection if you do the Narcissa side quest. Since there's two Narcissa, you know, the one was... It showed signs of her possibly getting deleted, but the one left in time before Narcissa got deleted herself. So maybe there's like periods of time she stays within this time and has to go back to her original timeline? Because I remember somebody said before that out of nowhere, Team Z just popped up, just randomly. And Madame X has, you know, in, pos in possession the Time Diamond, so maybe she kind of goes back and forth before deletion, maybe? It is a big stretch, and plus, again, she did say it before, if the book is hers, I will do anything it takes to stop that old man, which I'm going to assume that's Vitus. Um, I'm not saying it's not Aaron, it's not Malia, it's not Anifa, like, I'm still sticking on to at least one of them being Madame X. I, I brought up a few other, you know, nominees as well, but like, the universe saying I feel like just cuts all that theory like in half like there, there's something else there there's something missing there, there's something just not known yet and I feel like I'm close and I feel like a lot of us are close to that theory but I'm like we don't have anything concrete yet you know like it's just not enough proves it you know and it's frustrating but it's what makes this game so fun at the same time Anyways, let's continue on. Enough of me rambling on. Um, what's all this? Can we go anywhere? Is there anything down here? Wait, you can't? Oh, okay, I gotcha. That's just a house then. Okay. What does the book say? This may be my final journal entry. The presence I mentioned earlier has gotten to a peak. I'm being overwhelmed by them. I cannot escape. Uh, but this is the tale of an adventurer. Do not weep for me. Though this cave has proven itself to be quite a challenge I could not overcome, I'm overjoyed by the fact that they're here for me. Sweet Earth, it is over. They are here. They have come. Goodbye. I want to know more about this Karin dude, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. Maybe we'll meet him in the future. You don't think it's like Kieran got, eh, maybe? I mean, like, it's weird because, like, a lot of them, like, hide, like, their true names, like, Aaron, Arena, you know, Nastasia, Anastasia, so, like, it, it could be one of those situations. It's like another town that's been frozen in time, but it's not like the place beneath us. It's different this time. In a way, it reminds me of Alamissa. The same empty, hopeless feeling. It's certainly empty, that's for sure. Nim, do you know what this place is? Nope, but I pass here sometimes to, um, uh, it's okay. You don't have to explain why. If you're not comfortable with that, we're not going to pry. But did I say about being so nice to me? I'm oh, sorry. Are you trying to pity me or something, Malia? Here we go again, Nim. I'm not. Oh. Cassandra, maybe? Ren? Or maybe somebody got him at HQ. I don't know. What's going on? Ren's been glitching out ever since we got to this place. It's been getting worse and worse the longer we stay down here. How do we fix him? What can we do? I, I can't fight this one. Everyone stand. What? 
It's not Nastasia, is it? Ren? Ren, are you... What's going on? That is not Ren's voice at all. Ren? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you're talking about. What? What's your name? Can you tell us that? Oh, my name. I'm sorry, but I can't remember my name. I'm so confused right now. What the hell just happened? That's another soul, an entire different being inside of Ren's body. Oh, so that's what's happening. I understand now. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. To be honest, I don't really remember what I was doing. Sorry about that. Before this, I was just drifting along until I felt compelled to come to this place. But then where is our Ren? I do feel his presence. He is here, just sleeping. Not to be rude, but you're going to have to get out of my friend pronto. Wait, Venom, maybe she can tell us about this place. Do you have any idea where we are? I remember now. This place was my home. Yes, I was living here with my two best friends until until we separated by fate, it seems. We found ourselves on two opposite sides of the war, and when it came down to it, we had to fight. Hmm. She battled. She and I battled, but we couldn't bring ourselves to kill each other. I wanted to protect my home, but I wanted to protect her even more than that. Therefore, in the end, I, well... That was the last thing I remember, if you know what I mean. You took the killing blow on purpose. Why couldn't you just settle your differences? They, There had to have been another way. No, unfortunately not. This is how it was supposed to be. Enough. Enough with the self-sacrificial bullcrap. I can't hear it anymore. What? I'm such a hypocrite. Fight for your own friends. How can I say such things when I can't even do it myself? Malia, you kept asking me what I was doing here in the first place. Do you really want to know why? If you want me to know, then say it. I came here to feast. Gosh darn it, dude. What is this, like Soul Eater now or something? The feast? I told you, didn't I? I'm nothing but a monster, the child of the storm. I come to the den of souls, periodically, or Kali, or how, how do you pronounce that? To feast on, <laughs> this is like Soul Eater. Uh, trapped here, you what? If I don't get souls, what will happen? You know the answer, Malia. I know the answer. What would happen if Nim didn't feast on souls? Maybe because, or maybe she goes into that one weird form thing? Maybe? I know she's implying death, but I think she means something more specific. You die of hunger, you can't function, you turn into stone. I don't believe it's hunger because, I mean, she was eating the things just fine, or the gourmet treats. You can't function, you turn into stone. Well, the, mm, the whole stone, it said before that the stone thing was just because she let her emotions get out of hand and she just couldn't control herself. I, I'm going to go with function, like, if it's stone, then I suck, but I thought they said that the stone thing, unless like they just didn't tell us everything about Nim. Fair enough, but like, I remember they said the stone thing was because like, her emotions got the better of her and she just like, overdid it. I'm gonna go with function. More than that, think about this more clearly. Like I said, you know the answer. What? Is it really stone? You turn to stone. See, like, gosh darn it, dude. I don't know, like... I just felt like turn see and, and that's the issue like I have the mindsets like yeah that's obvious so it's probably the other answer I should have just picked the obvious one but I thought they said whatever it don't matter I'm wrong I am wrong all right you're right and that's exactly what happened to me for me to prevent this I have to visit my own realm or drain the life energy from souls to survive Okay. When I was with you all on the Zen ship in Terajuma, I started to feel sick, remember? Normally this would be a problem, but in this instance, I couldn't return to my own realm because... 
Oh, okay. I get it now. You were holding back my father, Gear, and Zeta back for us. But in the end, it didn't matter anyways. They were freed and I was thrown into a prison I could not escape. But it's not just that either. Anyone who is simply near me is in danger. I passively drained the essence out of human beings in my vicinity. When I was in Sashila, I accidentally killed a woman by draining her essence. How do you pronounce that? I was doing... I wasn't doing anything, I was just trying to make a friend, but the evil that's inside me by nature was dying and it needed a substance. That death was the last straw for Damien. I mean... I mean, I, got, I, I kind of have to start with Damien, I mean, it's fair. He saw me as a threat to his people and every human on the planet, I mean, yeah, you're, I mean... It, it sucks because like Nim probably didn't ask for any of this, but like God that that's hard to go about that. That's hard like I, I, I get both sides, but like I Don't know that's gonna be difficult to get into. I don't know He ordered the bounty on my life and started the chase with Alexandra and I But not even she was safe from me after a long trip on the Grand Dream Express I almost killed Alexandra. That was when I decided we must part ways but then again, like, why didn't she kill us or Venom or any of them? I guess then again, like, she was able to get other souls. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm scared. I need help. If things continue this way, I'll... Nim. There isn't any point in beating around the bush anymore. You all are trying to stop Storm 9 from coming back, right? Our destiny is to fight and kill each other, so why don't we just get that over with? Wait, 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 why? I understand you're scared, but if you try and hurt us... Venom, stop. Let me handle this. What is Nim trying to say? I wanna... I wanna, like, eat you guys now? Like, but... I... I... I don't know. I told you before that I wouldn't give up on Nim. I don't care who or what you truly are. You are my friend. Stop it, you're just making this harder for all of us. What can I do to help you, Nim? You want to help me? Then give me the power of the archetype. Oh. This could be Vitus controlling her as well. Keep that in mind, because Angie had the same situation. With Vitus's soul kind of like getting out of her. Or I, I don't know if it's still there or not, but like... With the whole Aaron scene. It, it could be Vitus trying to get into all that. Because... With the storm thing being obvious, with Nim starting the windstorm, then we could safely say Anju is another part of the storm then. Because of, you know, ice storms, blizzards, etc. What? You must be out of your mind, Nim. Nim, will that truly save you? In that case, Malia, what are you... What are you doing? Malia... I guess it's... Eh, I don't think it's gonna work. You were with me in that facility before. You know the risk of holding this power. Even with that knowledge, you still want this. I need it. I see. I vowed I would protect this power from evil, but if giving it to you would mean saving your life, then... Such an idiot, dude. What is happening? Malia, I know you mean well, but think about what you're doing. A decision like this is catastrophic. You can't be responsible for this. I refuse to let another one of my friends die, not on my watch. I will bend and break every rule on this forsaken planet before I let that happen again. Even in the end, if I am truly powerless to change anything, I won't go down without putting, putting in everything I've got. Nim, you suffered so much. I'm so sorry for everything. If this will truly save your life, then promise... Or, sorry, then please accept this. After all that, why? I think it's because she realized that even if she got a hold of this power, in the end, her destiny is something she cannot run from. Okay. A lot just happened. But then... 
Okay, like, in a sense, I don't know if that was Malia's chance to say, like, hey, if I get rid of it, then Madam X will leave me alone. I don't have to die from some illness, and now she can have it. But then again, Nim with the power of the archetype just sounds like a very terrible idea, you know, that had that power. I don't know, I don't know. There's a lot... I... I don't know how to feel, I don't know. And I think the same is true for me, huh? Still, the conflict seemed to have ended peacefully. I could only wish the conflict I had with my best friend ended the same way. Kind of brutal thing to witness after just walking up or waking up though, huh? No, it's okay. Though I'm a bit disappointed that this world seems to be conflicted like mine was. Perhaps it was naive of me to think the afterlife would be perfect. Nothing usually is after all. That being said, I think I've taken enough time from the boy in this body. Uh, I know I asked you to leave, but will you be okay? I'll be just fine. I wish you all prosperity and tell the boy in his body I said thanks for allowing me some time. Goodbye, Melia and Venom. You don't think that's one of the patients, right? Maybe all their souls reside here for all the people that died to the archetype thing? Maybe? Uh, what just happened to me and why are you two in battle mode? Wait, where's Nim? We'd answer you if you gave us a chance. Well, this is what happened. So I think it's safe to assume every time I glitch out like that, a soul was trying to use this husk of a body to begin, or sorry, to become conscious once again. A little scary if you think about it. The girl we talked to just now was sweet and let her, or let you have her body back. What if an evil spirit got in there and didn't want to leave? I need a vacation, that's all I have to say about all of this. True that, I want to chill for a whole month after this. Guys, we need to get back to Sashila. There's something we need to discuss. I'm going to assume she wants to talk about her dying and all that. I assume it's important. Yeah, I need everyone to be there for it. For now, we should get ready for our final battle. I bet... Oh, no, no. People... I think some people were warning me about this. I bet Cassandra and Madalus are around here somewhere. We should prepare if needed. Gotcha. I'm ready whenever you guys are. You know what? Easy. I'm going to beat it on the first try. Easy. Simple. This is not going to be hard. Right? Right, guys. Yeah, it's not going to be hard. Y'all say it's going to be hard? Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Is there anything in here? Um, I'm gonna assume it's the Zen purges. What's in here? You shouldn't go this way. Come on, don't do this to me. All right. Um, I guess I should save here. I also want to keep in mind, Madam X did say she wanted us to find out the truth. So. I'm going to assume Madam X wanted Malia to find out that she is dying. I'm going to assume that's what she meant by all that, so... I don't know. Anyways, have you met Neve's little girl? She's a little girl who, was, who has a rare disease. She is currently being treated for it at the Hospital of Hope. So, you wanted to know who or what changed me, right? It was the little... It was the same little girl, Francesca, how do you pronounce her name? A sick child changed you, am I hearing that correctly? I discovered her by mistake, but ever since then she's been begging me to visit her when I had time. On my off time, I decided to do so. During this session, she'd tell me all about her hopes and dreams she wants to accomplish when she gets better. Her words and personality were sincere, if not naive, due to her age. She has, or she always had other people in mind. I had the force to smile through every session because I knew that I was working towards, what I was working towards would take all that away from her. And I don't understand how this is different. Well, it turns out Nev and I joined Team Zen for the exact same reason. For Nev, it was to save his daughter. For me, it was to save Elizabeth, your sister. I convinced myself early on that the atrocities I committed would be to save her life. I acted with a grim smile when I conducted my experiments and took lives from people. Self-righteousness blinded me a path of no return. 
I never even asked myself if this is what Elizabeth would have wanted. At the end of the day, I realized that I was doing this truly for Elizabeth at all. Or wasn't truly doing this. Now, I, I'm going to assume Elizabeth is the one girl back in the past where the one girl said, like, she was into fashion, but she died. And then her, and then what a group adorned her death with the letter X or something. I'm going to assume that's Elizabeth that they're referring to. Might be wrong. It was for me and my selfish reasons it always has been. So you aren't happy with the underlying true intentions of your actions. That's easy. We just need to find something to solidify your stance on things again. I'm sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but Millie and the others are on their way here right now. Enough of your sob story, Madalus. We'll grab that photo, win this battle, and head back to HQ with Malia. It'll all end with this. Oh, dude. I already know this music's gonna be so loud. <laughs> Come on, dude. I love the music, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, dude, this is... Ugh, all right. You know, what did I say before? Eat? Wait, what? Huh. That would suck if you got stuck in there. You know, I said before, easy. Simple. This ain't hard. Easy. Easy work. Huh? I'm out of steam, I'm just gonna have to sit back and watch this one. Well hello there, you certainly took your time. Oh for gosh sakes, are we really doing this right now? Now now, there's no need for such vulgarity? I guess something, another word for cussing or whatever. It's been a long, tough day for all of us, we've all made mistakes. Really now? Really? I wanted to propose a little deal with you all. Oh? It's come to my intention that you have an unfavorable photo of me in your possession. Oh no, how did you find out about that? Heh, <laughs> I'm more... astute? A astute, however you pronounce that. Uh, then you think, if you hand over the photo, I'll let everything that happened today slide. Not to mention of random Madam X, no interfering on my part as mayor. Doesn't it sound like a good deal A peaceful truce? I like the truce. No, no, let's do the truce. I like that. I guess we're not doing it. Take that offer and shove it up your butt, miss. What did you just say? You're a fool if you think we'd let or we'd fall for some basic manipulation like that. We respectfully decline. I guess then again, it was too good, too good to be true. That makes sense. Who the hell do you think you are talking to like that? I'll tear you all up into pieces. But I suppose I'm not too surprised. What is that? I'm so sorry. There's like a small little bee in my room. I gotta catch him and let him out. Um, I'll do that later if I find him. But I suppose I'm not too surprised by this outcome. I'm almost so boring how expected this was. I'm afraid you've all just doomed yourself. I'm just so happened. It's just so happened that you pissed off a Team Zen admin. A ranking that's even higher than an executive, executive like Madalus over there. It's always so sad to see the youth throw away their future with ignorance, a girl with power she didn't ask for, a delinquent who just doesn't learn to sit down and lose, and a toy who serves a master who doesn't care about him. I won't let any of you escaping punishment. What will you do against me and my death wings? Guys, I don't think she quite understands the situation she's in right now. You idiot, we're not the ones being hunted right now. Huh? Ah. What just happened? The tables have turned, you guys are the ones that won't escape. Let's go. Pull up, dude. This is easy. Let's get this bread. Piss. Piss. Bad start, bad start. Um, of course it would be that. Uh, I actually may start all over the switch. What the hell do I go into? N nothing's a safe switching on a Bisharp. Um. Screw it. We're standing. <sighs> I hate Pokemon. Okay, uh, you. That did nothing. Okay, going to you, 
Let's Shadow Sneak, take it out. Sinchino, okay. It's going to you. Okay. Let's Mega Evolve Return. Okay, you're out. Mawile. Staying in. It's probably Mega. I thought we lived on three. You can't do that to me. Um. Yeah, let me start all over with the Bisharp. Yeah, I had a bad start. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, that happens. We can go into you then. Shadow Sneak. Take it out. Sinchino. I can go... What's your moveset? No, you're gonna die because of the ability. You're not Oko and you- Oh, hey B. Oh, he's back. Um... Hmm... No, I think the only Pokemon is you. Yeah, it's, it's the only one that I can go into. Can you stop getting crits? It's really annoying. Mawile, I can go into... I hate that they got rid of Flamethrower on you. Because you almost have like nothing fire related. I can go into Serenity. Go for Reflect. That does so much damage. Nature Power. Let's just try that. What does that do? Eh. Didn't do a lot. Um, the issue is I don't want to use many max potions if I don't have to because I feel like there's going to be another battle after this. Of course I got a crit, but that crit didn't matter. Um, Earthquake should take it out. Live one. Oh, it doesn't take it out. That's insane. Okay. I know Mala has, has decent defense, but I thought I'd at least take it out. Uh, Lycan Rock, I can go into Unity. Flash Cannon should. Man, I don't want speed. Um. It's going to Play Rope. I deserve this. My Lodic. Hmm. It's going to hope. I can stall it out. Oh my god, why is it physical? I was not expecting a physical. Physical? My lo what the hell? I know it's a different color, so what is it? Poison? God, that's so annoying, dude. What the hell? Literally, four of my Pokemon are weak to that thing. That's so... Ugh, dude, that's cringe. Um, let's Max Potion you, then. I'll take that. Play rope. It's poison, right? Yeah, it's gotta be poison because of that. And of course we get a minus attack drop. Fun. Go into patience. I should live any hit. Superior, of course. He crash. Alright. Your strength it goes against all of our reports. What have you done to get so strong? Please tell me if there's not if there's another battle, it's gonna really suck. No way. We knew Malia had realized the archetype's power, but for it to have advanced as quickly is incomprehensible. In your Pokemon strength, it's on another level we had not realized. We had a good teacher, now be quiet. If I see the Zen Pur just pull up, I'm gonna really be upset and just sad and cry. Alright, enough of me being dumb. Matalus. I never thought the day would come when Cassandra would actually lose. This is it. She's done for. No way in hell. 
No way in hell. No way. And what about you? Are you about to be right behind her? Please, Madalus, don't cause us any more trouble. You cannot win. First of all, how is Ren getting away with this? Can, can I can I ask that real quick? How the hell is he doing this? Even the stage is like, yeah, I don't care. Like, Madam X has to know something. Like, people gotta know that he's doing this. Like, bruh. Like, how, how does he... How do people not know? I don't know. This is the last time I'm going to try and convince you, Madalus. Defect. Defect from Team Zen. And don't know what's keeping you with them. But Team Zen's goal can be nothing short of destruction. I... Just leave. What? We're just gonna let her go? If she reports this... I won't report this. What? Bet. Either Zen just pulls up from Crescent or somebody's gonna kill Matalus. Calling it now. I've lost this future and I have no intention of running. I'll admit defeat peacefully. Why should we believe that? Because I am the evil and very beautiful goddess Matalus. I promise from me is nothing short of an honor. Matalus does not break her promises when she gives them out. So please just believe me. Alright, I'm going to trust you this time. Then if this is settled, let's grab Cassandra and go. I know we didn't find what we came here for, but this is this may be more important. We should head back to the base immediately. We're going to need to let everyone know. Yikes. Is everyone okay? Yeah, a bit of a shake, but I've never seen this before. Something's not right here. Malia, grab Cassandra and let's get the hell out of here. What? Is that also Indred? Get away from that thing, but if that thing gets a hold of you, you'll have more a lot more problems than just team Is that the Zen purchase? Leave Cassandra for now, we need to leave. Either that's the Zen purchase or Or, I just noticed the second one. She's right. Don't forget that Ren is almost is most susceptible to these things too. Let's get a move. Not now. Ren, I'll carry you, guys. Oh. We're surrounded. Fine, we can't walk out. We'll fly out. Malia, you take Matalus with your happy. I'll carry Ren on Char's. My Pokeballs, they won't work. Mine will, or neither will mine. They do say spirits can tamper with technology. Great. This, this is exactly what Karen described in his diary. What? Someone a long time ago fell down here. Karen said he felt a an ever everlasting presence and that he felt someone watching him. He survived his place for three days until something overwhelmed him. I think we just found out what something is. The souls that are trapped in this cave. And let me guess, they sense life and want a piece of it. More or less, that would be my guess. We have no Pokemon and no way of escape. What do we do? Oh, that works. I've used this power so often today, I don't know how much longer I can do it, but I need to buy time. You wouldn't happen to have any clever tricks up your sleeve, right, Madalus? Oops, sorry, the clever trick store was fresh out today. Of course, I don't have any clever tricks for a situation like this. What do you want me to do? Weren't you just calling yourself a goddess? Some goddess you are. Sorry I didn't bring my pocket god mode button like Blondie over there. Next time, I won't be so foolish. Guys, please. I can't hold this. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Well, this sucks. I wonder what's. Great. Great, great, great. So they're just falling. Is that Ren glowing? No. 
No. Someone, please. You can't have them. I gotta admit, I like the music. Nim, I used to pretend the souls here had no conscious thought so that when I drained them of their energy, I wouldn't feel more like a monster. But then I heard that girl's voice within Ren's body. I lost everything. There's truly nothing redeeming about me, a terrible blight through and through. No, that's not true, but it is true. I've already captured it. Captured it. You all need to get out of here. I can help you escape and let yourself stay down here to fend for yourself. Malia. Come with us. We can escape together. Despite everything we've been through, we still love you, Nim. I know that now, and that's why I'm going to do this. It's me you all want, right? I'm the one who terrorized you all. But here I am now, I won't run away. I'll face my destiny. Is that Cassandra? I think it is. But god, dude, I okay. I was not necessarily expecting Nim to save us. I thought maybe Madam X or somebody else is like, you idiots, now I gotta do this again. I was not expecting Nim, but... God, dude, okay. At least we weren't battling the Zen Purges, but I feel like that, that may be the future, or it may pull up now. I, I, I don't know. Uh, the Cassandra battle, honestly... I mean, yeah, I had to use, like, a few items. Not a ton, though. It, definitely not as hard as the Angie battle. The Angie battle was something else, but... As I said before, I feel like if there wasn't so many flinches and misses, I, I believe I could have beat that in, like, five, six tries. I know I could have, but... I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we're back above ground. G Goldenwood Grove. Or Grove. Yeah, I said that right, sorry. Ren Venom. Ren, get up. You too, Venom. You could sleep later. My head. Wait, we're out? But how? Last thing I remember was glitching out on the bridge. Remind me to get Nastasia to expedite a fix for that, by the way. Because not only is it inconvenient, but it is not exactly painless. Nim saved us. She jumped in and warped us out. Again, why didn't she just do that to begin with? Couldn't save us a whole... Could have saved us a whole bunch of trouble. Because despite our truce at the HQ, I don't think she intended for us to leave that cave alive. Obviously, she had a change of heart, but... Wait, guys, look over there. Cassandra. There's Thing 1, but where's Thing 2, a.k.a. Matalus? I have no idea. Did she not make it out? Matalus is annoying enough to survive anyways. I'd feel bad if she reported this. Maybe we ended up in a failure after all. I mean, we didn't even find what we came down here for. Oh crap, the pearl component. We got so wrapped up with Team Zen that we didn't even properly look for it. Don't worry, I have a feeling we'll be back soon. But for now, we need to call in that we have Cassandra. I think this takes precedence? Alright, where's the big boom or Zen purges? Agreed, this is huge. Guess I'll call my sister. I've always wanted to say that. Or maybe nothing dumb's gonna happen. Maybe not. Aaron, there's a lot we gotta report to you guys. We didn't find a component, but we ran into Team Zen and found out something really important. Cassandra, mayor of Grand Dream City, is an admin of Team Zen. And not only that, we defeated her and we have her in custody. Yeah, got it. We'll wait for you then. What's the plan? Aaron and the rest are going to go pick us up and take us back to Sashila, and that's that. But is Nim going to be okay down there all by herself? Are we going to be okay? 
I know we made it out, but the stuff down there was seriously traumatizing. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like I'm at my limit. When we... What? I wonder... What? Guys, you can't just do this to me. Um... So... That's... Oh? Yeah, maybe... I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um... So, was there maybe a way to save Matalus and all that? Maybe? Or... Am I going crazy? Alright, sorry for the pause there. Um, let me check the Ablis real quick, actually. I'm kind of just curious if... That changes. See if that changes or not. Escape rope. Can we? I guess still no. Okay. I don't know. I was expecting the Cassandra battle to be harder, but it's all good. It's probably gonna be harder battles in the future anyway. So, but I would definitely say Angie is way way harder. But then again, it, it's it's Angie. Um, I think we're gonna vend, vend. I think we're gonna end the video off here so we can end it off with the um, the component or the pro component part done and it will continue on the next episode with um, us and Alita if that's what it's gonna get into. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it and I guess I'll see you all in the next episode. Good morning.